Another week, more polls for Joe Biden, and suddenly the polls are looking bad. Still, really, really bad. His approval rating has fallen to the lowest level since he took office. It's at 34%. Independents have him at 24% approval. And Trump, oddly enough, now has the largest lead ever in the Real Clear Politics polling average over Joe Biden. So, and look at the blue line on that thing, just nose diving. But I don't want you to worry too much because there's dramatic news in this area. Joe Biden now is reportedly increasingly frustrated by his dismal poll numbers. So what are we all worried about? He's mad too. He's not doing anything, he's not changing anything, but he's angry about it, Francesca, and I guess that's something. Gee, I wonder what's changed in the last two months. Could it be him acting like a complete Republican when <laughs> it comes to you know co-signing and sponsoring and even asking for more money for this war on Gaza? It is again, he's worse than Republican. Even Republicans have soured on like spending endless money on endless wars abroad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say like, especially Republicans in power, like we must support Israel, but the base people are scratching their heads and they have been since George W. Bush on why we spend so much money abroad and why we can't make ends meet here at home. Like this was the absolute wrong move. And look, I if I'm his advisor, I mean, hell, I'm asking him to call for ceasefire on, you know, a week after this or immediately after October 7th and to exercise restraint and whatnot. They've said that only in knowing full well that they're just continuing to give Israel a blank check. But I don't think it's too late for him to turn this around, but he's got to do a, I'm talking a 180. And mm -hmm. I don't see that happening specifically on this issue, issue of Israel and Gaza. I don't see him saying, I was wrong. This has gone on, this has gone on far too long. We're gonna redirect funds to helping Palestinian society. We are withholding funds from Israel until they allow humanitarian, uh, full humanitarian aid and stop the bombing immediately. We're going to stop arming them. We're gonna, like, whatever it is, he's yeah. not willing to put the brakes on. He's not willing to, you know, pull on the leash, so to speak. And so here we are. He's mad. Ooh, fooey. I wonder what it could be. Yeah, uh, no, you're, you're, uh, it's a great read on this particular issue. Um, but I think the general issue is, I don't, I don't know what he's doing now, let alone what he wants to do if he gets in office again. Like, I obviously don't want Trump to become president. I think that much is clear. So don't come at me like you're trying to take down Biden. Uh, what, what are three things he wants to do with a second term? Three specific things over four years as president. I don't know. I honestly don't know. And if he's not willing to come up with the plan or publicize the plan or address all these issues people are worried about, there is still time for him to step down and let someone else run. Probably yes. not the person I would choose. There's a whole bunch of Democratic governors that I don't love that are more likely to end up taking that spot than like a Bernie Sanders or something. But at least they might be willing to fight for this thing. Yes. Considering the stakes.